Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam. Today I have a Mercedes Benz C63 S AMG. This is the V8 500 horsepower twin turbo one. And today we're in beautiful Beverly Hills, California, but we're gonna take this car up to Mulholland Drive. I'm gonna tell you what I love about this car. I'll tell you what I hate about the car. And if I think you should get one, I'm excited for this one. So let's get right into it. So we have to get it out of the way first. This is still called the C63, even though it is not a 6.3 as the previous models were. This is a 4.0 twin turbo, and it, it produces 500 horsepower, a little over, I believe 530 torque. It has a lot of torque, this car, and Mercedes are notorious for that. All the AMG models usually have a more torque than they do horsepower. And one thing they got right on this car for sure with this engine is the sound of the exhaust. They really, it's still rumbly. It still puts you in the back of your seat and it's, it's really violent. I have to put it that way. Let's see what this thing does. It's, the steering is pretty light. I'm taking the turn. It's a handful, I'll tell you. It is a handful. I can feel the understeer coming out, but you know, you go into the corners a little bit cautious. You do go in slow, but you come out fast. That's what that's what you get with these powerful V8s. That it's a rear wheel drive, so you really have to take advantage of the power band coming out of a turn. Going in is a different story, not with this car. If the brakes are great, I can feel it. There it goes the back again. The exhaust sounds so good. You just want to keep downshifting every chance you get. I mean, I'm going through gears like it's nothing, just so I have more gears to go back on so you can hear that, that exhaust. It sounds so good. I've always preferred an AMG's exhaust over any BMW. Yeah, the power is there. Ooh, lots of oversteer, lots of oversteer. Tires need to get a little bit warmer. This car has a lot less turbo lag than I expected. It's nice. I mean, you, you want to go, you just press it and you are off. <laughs> in my videos because you can never hear it is the sound system but I've been driving this car around all day and this Burmester sound system is beautiful I mean this might be the best sound system I have heard in any modern car and the design of it the design in this car the materials it just looks beautiful it really matches the car check it out one of my favorite features once again 
every convertible car should have this, the neck scarf that blows warm air. I've got a button here on the, to my left, and so does my passenger. It blows warm air onto your neck. It doesn't allow you to get cold. I don't care what the weather is. I can imagine driving this thing through snow. When your neck is warm, you feel warm. Remember that. It's amazing. I don't know if I've ever driven a car that is so polar opposite on one turn. I mean, you'll, you'll go into it with fairly low confidence. You, you don't want the tail to spin out. You know this car is infamous for oversteer. But once you're in there and, and you start to feel planted, I mean, it comes out of it really smooth, really smooth. I mean, this car, it's dangerous, I'll tell you. It is still very much a German muscle car. It is dangerous, especially if you start to go into your sport modes and, and, and turning off uh, any of your aids, uh, which I don't recommend unless you're pretty comfortable with these kind of cars. I would say if you have a weak heart, do not take turns with this car. So the question does come down to it, do you buy one? The answer is absolutely not. And I'm gonna tell you why. This car's main, main problem, and it doesn't have a lot. This is the main issue, it's price. It starts at $75,000, that is not the problem. Once you get the S model, you get the convertible, you add your options, this car has an MSRP somewhere around $110,000. And to think, you're paying $110,000 for an entry-level Mercedes-Benz Coupe. You're, I mean, you're paying, this is, it's insane. That price is nuts. You're, you're now in totally different territory. Uh, at the year this was made, uh, what, 2017, you could have gotten almost an M6. Way more power, much bigger car, more practical. I mean, th the price of this car is the, probably the reason you've never seen one on the road. All right, guys, as we head down Coldwater Canyon, back into the valley, that is gonna conclude it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, go in the comments, tell me what car you want me to drive next. I'll drive what you guys vote on. But come on, be reasonable. I'm not gonna get my hands on the McLaren Senna anytime soon. Look at the Senna. Look at the Senna go. Give me a reasonable car. If you want, tell me in the comments that you don't wanna see my hair, you'd rather I wear a hat. Uh, I may or may not agree with you. We're gonna find out in the next video. Thanks a lot.